I saw a picture of uh, taken in 1877, the same year as the uh, picture I put up uh, the other day on the uh, video. Um, and he's wearing a double trained headdress. I've got the feathers worked out, the size of the feathers, and it works out to the, the head length. That's what this little box here is, is the head length of the uh, person I'm doing right now. And what I mean by head length is from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. And uh, these feathers were uh, traced from actual uh, eagle feathers. I can't own them, but I have an Indian ar artist friend who allowed me to trace some of the primary feathers that are used in, in uh, headdresses and on their heads, hawk feathers uh, here and such. And then I, I drew a head measurement, which was ideally eight and a half heads or eight and a half inches from bottom of the chin to the top of the head. That's ideally. So this gives me the lengths of the feather. Now these would, this is the primary feather or a chief's feather and it would be in the front of the headdress in the middle and then these secondary feathers would fall in around and uh, give it the shape. But uh, anyway he would have a double trained headdress according to the photograph I saw. It looked as though it was a double train feather, a feathered headdress. In other words, it would come up around and then down and, and down. I have two uh, uh, trains for the feathers. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to basically just do flat um, today. Just flat. Uh, well, I'll show, show you. It, it's going to involve my. Uh, pasta machine and I'll be rolling clay through this. Let's see if it has clay ready to roll through the uh, roller, the uh, pasta machine. What I need to do is first get it softened up a little bit more than what it is and uh, I think that should be good. Now let's try it in the uh, pasta machine. I'm just going to roll it very slow. Oh yeah, it's perfect temperature. I had an artist friend who uh, taught me that little trick and it's a rather good one. Okay, it's uh, about half the length of the feathers it should be, so what I'm going to do is cut this in half and join the two halves. Get it perfectly fat, flat first. Not fat, but flat. And then I'm just going to overlap the edge just a little bit. Combine the two uh, rolls. What I'm going to do is just work out the pattern of the uh, effect of the wind on this headdress first before I go through all the trouble of making the feathers. But what I'm going to do is uh, remove this. Work out the headdress first. And I'm going to cut it at an angle. Going to fold over it on itself and cut the same angle on this other side as I cut on that side. Okay. 
Like I said, I don't, I've never done this, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. Cutting the same size section out of the next little piece. Let's go ahead and put this back on. I'm putting this on as if there's no wind at all right now. Just to work out the shape of the headdress. Then I'll work out the uh, angles later. later. This is a lot easier than doing a bunch of feathers and, and trying to line them up. Uh, on the head. Try a different route for these feathers. Let's try it this direction. For this direction, I may have to remove the stick.
too much. Way too much. Mind you, once feathers are on this, this will actually look a little bit better, I think. That doesn't look too bad. Like that. Too bad at all. Let's uh, cut this down a little bit. And the way I'll do that is by heating up my X-Acto knife to uh, round off the uh, headdress a little bit. If I heat up the blade, it'll cut through the clay a lot easier than if it was cold. that and like that and like that and bring this down a little more like that Yeah, I just wanted to show you how it's looking uh, at a different angle. I don't think it's looking too bad. It's going to be one costly piece to put together, though. But uh, the gentleman doesn't care. He wants the best I can do. And uh, that always opens up my imagination and my ability to uh, create what I like. And uh, I don't think it looks too bad. It's going to be an interesting piece. A lot of nice play with the feathers. And uh, it is going to be interesting. All right. I'm glad you guys are along with me on this journey. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. Touch the clouds. <laughs>